Welcome back. It's still plus politics. And to move to the second issue of the day, the People's Democratic Party PDP caucus in the House of Representatives has called on the federal government to employ caution in the handling of issues that stem from the recent hashtag NSAS protest. The caucus stated that the government must follow the rule of law in dealing with those arrested due to their involvement in the protest. These were stated by leader of the caucus, Kingsley Chinda. He added that the party caucus had noted that in the last few weeks, the media had been awash with news reports of actions taken by the government against NSAS protesters and alleged supporters. Joining us to discuss this, we have uh, in Abuja, joining us via Zoom, uh, Ola Dimeji Fabi, who is a member of PDP. Good evning, Mr. Fabi. Yeah, good evening, Kaude. Good evening, Nigerians. Good and, to be here. And we also have uh, Mr. Nelson Ekujumi, who is a public affairs analyst. Good evening, Mr. Ekujumi. Good evening, Kaude. It's a pleasure being with you. Good yeah, evening, Nigerians. Good to have you. Uh, let me start with uh, Oladi Meji by, by way of first mention. I recall your position on this protest and some of the things that had happened. But one thing the protesters have tried to do all the while is to ensure that this protest is not given a political coloration, that politicians don't use it as a way of uh, getting back at themselves. And uh, some will want to remind the PDP that um, what about the days of Olusha Gnobasanjo when he was in PDP as the, as the president? What about the uh, Zaki Biam? Uh, 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 I don't want to use the word, but some people describe it as massacre. What about the OD that, please, PDP should stay off from this discourse? What do you have to say? Well, thank you very much. Uh, for me, I think we're talking about now, we're talking about uh, what is good on the country currently, uh, presently, and then uh, the effects on everything that has to do with our nationhood. Uh, whether Obasan George during his time uh, did something with Zaki Ibiam, or as, as far up to this moment, Nigeria is still together. Zaki Ibiam, Odi, they are still, the people are still living. But uh, the existence of Nigeria, the unity of Nigeria, this peace, peace, peace in Nigeria was not that threatened as what we're having today. Uh, we have a section of the Nigerian community that are very strong, that are very, I mean, vibrant in their numbers, they are highly intelligent, they, 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 they are there and they are ready to go a whole lot in pursuing their dream in uh, setting the other for our country. So they are two different dynamics. And for me, I wouldn't, I will, so I will join those who are saying that this thing should not be politicized because it's not just about politics. Uh, it's, about the gen, it's about genuine agitation, it's about patriotism. Of, 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 of Nigerians, including both the youth and the elderly. Uh, everybody has come to see, I've come to see that we need to work together, whether you belong to PDP or you belong to APC, because this thing is gradually coming to a point that if care is not taken, is going to threaten the unity and existence of this country. Okay. And that is why all hands must be on deck. I stand with the caucus leadership in the House of Reps, because nothing can be further than the truth. They've said it as it is, that is the, the state of affairs. So for me, as, uh, as a Nigerian, as a younger okay. generation, I look forward to a government that will be responsible, that will be responsive. I look forward to a government okay. that will listen, that will treat our youth, Mr. that Fabi. will treat the necessary respect they deserve. Okay. And they should receive them as partners in progress. Exactly. Thank you so much for that, your opening remark. Uh, Nelson Okujimi, uh, a lot of people felt the government has actually, uh, you know, betrayed the trust that it had portrayed at the beginning, that the government seems to be acceding, they seems to be changing the narrative that, oh, unlike the government you're used to, we are ready to accede to the demands, but getting after protesters, arraigning them in court seems to be counterproductive. Do you share that opinion? Mr. Nelson, 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 Ekujimi. Nelson, Ekujimi, can you hear me? I can hear you, Kyle. What did he say? Come again. 
A lot of people felt the government has reneged on its promise that the way it started by listening to the protesters seems to have changed with the CBM freezing accounts, with the protesters being hounded, that the trust is already being affected and is a threat to the rule of law. Do you share that opinion? No, absolutely not. I differ. I think that opinion should be ascribed or can be linked to those who are hypocritical with the truth. Because you and I know very well that when the protest started, very many Nigerians, if not all Nigerians, were on the same page. And as at that time, it was five for five, of which you know a lot of people were, you know, uh, agree with the demands of the NSAS protesters. But when the government acceded to the demands, and the government said, okay, come, let us talk. And they said, no, we are not talking. We, we, are not, we don't have leadership to talk with you. Uh, we want to remain on the streets. And we started hearing new songs. You know, they tried to change the, the goalposts in the middle of the game. Then some of us knew that there was more to this protest than meets the eye, that the fifth columnist, you know, had smuggled their agenda in. And be that as it may, I think we must also recognize one fact, that we operate a country that's governed by laws. You must recognize the fact that that responsibility of, you know, organizing a protest comes with consequences. If you have used means that, is, that violates the laws of the land, I think it will be irresponsible of any government to just fold its eyes and say, oh, because you have a right to organize a protest, then you have a right to throw this country into anarchy. I wouldn't, so, I wouldn't subscribe to that. I, I believe the... the uh, Freezing of the account by the CBN is part of CBN's responsibility to ensure that you know people <laughs> to use their accounts for you know activities other than what the accounts were open for. You and I know that even in other parts of the world, you cannot open an account and somebody transfers money into your account without you know uh, viable reasons you know that is consonant with the purposes for which that okay, bank account has been Let me stay with you. You also know that as we speak today, even in Nigeria, yeah. If you, open, if you have a bank account and it's a savings account, there are some transactions that cannot take place within Mr. that Nelson. account. So Mr. Nelson, Mr. Nelson, Mr. Nelson, so, sorry, let, let me start with you before I go back to Fabi. In clear terms, are you saying that uh, these people's um, motives are not clear to us? Are you saying that uh, these trumped up charges of trying to sponsor terrorism and the rest is in good order? Right. Is it I don't know where you got the idea of a trumped up charges. I'm sure you are not the prosecutor and okay. you don't have the facts of the case. The government, as the executive arm of government, the best they can do is to gather their facts okay. and take would be suspects to a, an entirely different arm of the government, which is the judiciary. How you came about your trumped up, I wouldn't know. Maybe you are privy to information <laughs> that a lot of Nigerians don't have. But as we speak, anybody that is going to be tried will not be tried within the confines of the presidency, but rather will be taken to a court of competent jurisdiction. Interesting. And the courts are there to do justice. So okay. I don't think we should be, we should be, you know, trying to put the card before the US. Let okay. us allow our judicial process to run its full course. Let us allow our democracy to grow. Okay. Let us stop trying to okay, Fabi. to black. Okay, Fabi, I, I, I will, uh, I will allow you to respond to. Uh, Mr. Nelson's position, uh, he says that let us allow judiciary to do his job. What do you think? Oh, you see, Kyle, this, I, when, when, when I'm on national TV like this and then I hear people speak like this, I, it makes me feel sad. Uh, we should just remember that um, it, there may be a time when table will turn. We should be mindful of what we say on the national TV. I really don't know which party you said this, my brother, you said is a member of uh, is a journalist, but I can see that he's a, a member of the APC. How? The quickly, you can't say he's a member of the APC. Uh, how do you know? Beyond that, how on earth can you say that it is in order for government to start clamping down on genuine agitators? How on earth will somebody come on national TV and be um, and be um, and be talking like this? Let's stay on the issue. These are young Nigerians. These are genuine Nigerians Let's who have the come up raised. to ask for good governance. These are good. These are these are younger Nigerians who have come 
to say the welfare of the police is not good enough. These are the people who are saying, give us good governance. And the government in, in turn started arresting them, closing down their businesses, frozen their account. And somebody is telling me on the national TV that CBN is doing his job for heaven's sake. This is not the Nigerian of our dreams. Okay, Allah, That's why I, said, I don't Fami, know which side of the divide did my brother represent. Mr. Mr. Fami, you will do me a favor. Um, I know it can be very tempting, but you will do me all the best to look at the message he raised, to look at the issues he raised without, you know, being sentimental or being sensational on this issue. Please do me that honor by staying on the issue. Mr. Nelson Okujimi, it, it, it seems to differ with you uh, looking at um, your position that um, I think the people mentioned, uh, I'm talking about um, uh, uh, these people whose accounts are freezed. And probably I need to move away from that and also look at the young man, the, the activist, who also came up to list the number of answers promoters and suing them for damages. A lot of people have also described that as preposterous. Uh, do you also feel there is any sense in that? Because we want to understand what the position of the law says. No, Kayode, please, let us get on to My brother there, well, for your information, I'm not yet a member of the APC, but I'll be very glad to be because it's a registered political party under the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is not a terrorist organization. So let us keep that by the side. Secondly, stop whipping up sentiments. When Central Bank wanted to freeze those accounts, Central Bank obtained a court order. That is to tell you that the rule of law is at place. Like I said earlier on, we must allow our laws to be explored. Nigeria. If somebody has started, you are talking about people Mr. Bobby, please, for let's good listen. governance. There are people who have agitated for good governance through their acts. People's businesses have been destroyed. People's lives have been lost. So those ones, their lives do not matter. Policemen were killed. They were roasted. Their bodies were, were eaten by cannibals. So their lives do not matter. Ordinary Nigerians were, were, uh, were robbed on the streets. Some were maimed. Oh, because they are, they are agitating for good governance. So they should deprive others of the right to live, of the right to existence, of the right to earn a livelihood. Oh, sorry, my brother. I believe in the rule of law. Whatever the government is doing today, the government took one of the protests, uh, the SS uh, uh, leaders to, to court. And that is what I expect for you to say, okay, well, if you have anything against these people, please charge them to court. On that, I stand. I won't sub subscribe to the position that they should be arrested and put in detention indefinitely. I will subscribe to the fact that if you have anything against them, gather your facts together, take them to court. The court will dispense justice. Okay, the good. Thank you. Thank you, no Nelson. Uh, let's, let's try and make our, our points quite short. I have just three minutes to round up this discussion. Okay, Fabi, let's look at this issue, uh, part of my language, dispassionately, so that people can feel your views without name calling. Now, a lot of people felt good. Several times they've, ex they've actually isolated the people, the vandals, from the protesters. But people would say that what should be done to those people who actually, you know, vandalize and who make things terrible for people? Is their anger Sincerely, justified? Uh, uh, Kayode, the entire world, you know, knows that those that have been arrested by the government right now, those that have those that have been tried, that are going to be tried right now, those who, whose accounts, whose businesses have been closed down, whose accounts have been frozen, and not the vandals. The government knows them. The police should have gone after those who did that, not these guys that were being that were being treated like criminals. They are not the ones. It is it's the public knowledge. See, as far as I know and I understand that the government has responsibility to maintain law and order. My point is, it has to be done in such a way that it will not continue to further erode the confidence of Nigerians and Nigerian youth on the government. On a daily basis, the gap keeps getting wider and wider. Nigerian youth don't have trust in their government any longer. So the government knows. See, we saw a video, Kayode, in Abuja, where government vehicles were being used to transport thoughts to go and attack protesters. It's there. It's, 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 it's there. We saw all these things. 
So are we saying that government does not know those who are responsible for this act and action? Those are the people that should, should have gone after. Is it is a public one like that? Those that are being named and allowed to be are not the ones that that that, okay. that, that kill people, that maim people, that attack that people. As, as my brother in Lagos is saying, let us stay on the facts. Let us stay with the truth. Okay. We do the, the, the rule of law that we are talking about. Everybody knows that this government does not recognize rule of law. Okay, Fabi. Fabi, I, I, I'm so sorry. My time is fast spent. I will quickly have to take. Uh, let me see whether I can take 30, 30 seconds from both of you. Uh, Mr. Nelson Okujimi, the way forward, the way forward, uh, according to the reps, uh, caucus of the PDP, they are advising the federal government to yeah, follow the rule of law. And that suggests to them that the federal government has, has probably not been following the rule of law. Any infractions noticed anyhow? Yes, Nelson. The guy was. The question is for Nelson. Sorry, let me get Nelson. I'll, I'll take you, please. Nelson, can you hear me? Mr. Nelson, you could me. Okay. Can we have Mr. Nelson to just quickly finish his thought? Okay. Okay. Let's. No, what I mean is, I, I want Nelson to speak for us, then uh, Mr. Fabi will, will round it off. Okay, Nelson, Hello? can you finish your statement, please? Come again, Fabi. I'm saying that how Pardon? do we stick to the rule of law without hounding the protesters as being alleged in many quarters? Well, people, you know, one thing about uh, our climb here is that trust has taken flight, which I agree with my brother. You know, even when uh, his party uh, was in power for 16 years, we recognized the damage they done to the psyche of the Nigerian people, as well as uh, the level of distrust that existed since then, and which we are still suffering even till now that we have a new party in power. But the truth of the matter is that we should stop whipping up sentiments. We should, stop, we should stop resorting to, you know, uh, emotions. When people have been alleged, okay. it is still an allegation. You are talking about somebody who has been detained for more than for more than 48 hours. You cannot be detained for more than 48 hours except with the permission of the court. And we have seen instances of somebody being detained for more than 48 hours with the permission of the court, with a okay. court order. So please don't come here and try to mislead or okay. incite people. Thank if you, so you don't much. know, please... Try and get information on how the judicial process it's works. If the, if the uh, prosecutors have sufficient grounds to demand that you, they, you be kept in court for them to get more facts, they will approach the courts okay, to get your me. stay with them. My, my time is up. I'm being told to actually find a way of coaching this discussion. But to be fair, Fabi, in 15 seconds, can you just clean up um, what you've been saying so far? Well, thank you very much. What I want to say is that there's the, we need justice for those that have been killed. We also need justice for these people that have been harassed anyhow. Uh, no responsible government wage war or wages war against its citizen. Uh, no responsible government will do that. Nigeria, you deserve better. And the future of Nigeria must be secured. And okay. the only way this can be secured is to secure our youth. No sentiment. And I'm, 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 I'm happy to say that answers. Whichever anybody looks at it, it's not out of primordial sentiments. It's out of genuine agitation for thank the good so governance much. and patriotism in Nigeria. I thank you for this for bringing us to this program today. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you for even helping me to thank you. Thank you for your time, Oladi Meji Fabi, a member of the PDP, and uh, Nelson Ekujimi, who says that he doesn't mind if he wants to join APC too. But for now, he's a public affairs analyst, and that remains so. Thank you, gentlemen, for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. And uh, quickly, we want to take a sh short breather. And when we return, I'll be giving you my take. And unfortunately, it's going to be very short. But listen to it after the short break.
There is no gainsaying the fact that all is not well with the NSAS protesters and the government. Recent activities suggest that there may have to be another negotiation table. Otherwise, government, despite its avowed decision to stop another protest, may not find it possible. Let it be sounded that Nigerians are not distracted by partisan coloration it may have taken. The goal is to see a reformed police and other legitimate demands. And that's my take on this issue tonight. Plus Politics returns tomorrow on the same station, same time. I remain yours truly. Yours truly, Coyote Ladeinde, saying bye for now.